What is good, Stephanie? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna do a little something. We're gonna do stuff a little different. Um, we'll be talking about 2020 in this video. As you guys know, we're stepping all 2021. I know I'm recording this video in February and January just passed already. Before we get uh, start with 2021, I feel like we should let go of 2020. So right now, we'll be talking about 2021 and some of the, some of the crazy stuff that happened last year and what I learned from them. You feel me? So right now, this is what this video is about. The crazy year of 2020 and what I, what I learned from it. All right. So let's go ahead and play the intro and we get the video started. Welcome back, Steppers. All right. Now, um, one thing that I learned in 2020 is to be grateful. Um, to be grateful for the little things as you guys know that i made a video prior to this called the 24 things i learned in 24 years i have the tag up here but yeah as you guys know 2020 was a crazy year and i feel like a lot of stuff that we took advantage of or we didn't appreciate um kicked us in the butt and we didn't have access to a lot of stuff when then we couldn't go outside we didn't have access to the parks to the basketball court <laughs> So, and we didn't realize how much those things matter to us until we weren't able to have access to them anymore. So I feel like 2020 um, showed us to be grateful for the little, little things and also to be grateful for the way we live life and enjoy it. Another thing that I learned in 2020 is to stay ready so I don't have to get ready. And what that means is a lot of people um, were affected by it uh, one way or another. The whole world was affected by this. And a lot of people were working um, nine to five, having a regular jobs and leaving paycheck to paycheck, and didn't have enough money saved up. Didn't have a, a didn't have a three to six months emergency fund saved up in the bank just in case any of this were to happen. Um, matter of fact, a lot of people didn't have a, a they even have a saving account. Um, as you guys know in America, not a lot of people don't have a saving account, and when it happened, they were affected by it to the point where they couldn't take care of themselves, and so we learned that stay ready so you don't have to get ready i mean not that we assume that something like this will ever happen again but you know just have that three months emergency fund saved up that'll take you a long way another thing that i learned in 2020 is to be a sponge um and what that means is to be able to make adjustments um based on what's going on based on current events and what's going on and we've seen a lot of that happen uh, as we know that within 2020 was unexpected the event was unexpected and that event eventually created so many entrepreneurs you know, it created so many uh new businesses so many people started trading uh, as for like stocks trading or um forex or anything like that and it was one of the most beautiful things to see people actually um open their mind and be able to adjust to the current situations uh, so that's another thing that i learned in 2020 Next one is uh, tomorrow is never guaranteed, so live today. Um, as you guys know, we'll do, we lost a lot of people um, due to the event, and um, some of them never got a chance to live in the moment. So another thing I learned is to live in the moment, you feel me? Um, you're here today, you might be gone tomorrow, and life is all about balance, so you got to be able to enjoy yourself as much. Um, you got to be able to enjoy yourself as much as you can while working. Um, as much and as hard as you can. So uh, it's all about balance. But again, you, know, you might be here today and be gone tomorrow. So go ahead and live life and enjoy it. Next thing is that your time and your freedom. Those two things right there are very important. Um, those two things right there make up for about 70 to 90 percent of your life. I feel like I feel like they do make up 70 to 90 percent of your life because for once you can never get your time back and life is short. And so if you're not free, then you're not living. So those, those two things right there, I feel like they are very important. And I learned that in 2020. Another thing that I learned in 2020 is technology, is how scary technology is getting every day. Um, all these crazy videos about robots or these new gadgets or these new AI system coming out. Um, imagine having the robots next to you, thinking like you, acting like you, but it's, I don't know, it's crazy. Um, so yeah, those, that's another thing that I learned in 2020. I feel like, if 10 years from now, it will be a crazy world um, as far as technology wise. And I mean, the world will be crazy in, in, in general, but technology will, will play a big, big, a big part of it. 
Last but not least, I learned uh, in 2020, I learned a lot about myself and my potentials. I feel like I was playing with my potentials all along. I feel like there's a lot of things I was capable of doing. And I don't know, I was scared, never wanted to take the leap of faith. But I feel like in 2020, I had no options. I had no choices but to actually do it. And now I feel like there's not a thing that I can say I can't do. And I'm not trying to brag about it or rub it in anybody's face. But I just feel like where there's a will, there's a way. And I had to find a way in 2020. And I feel like for me, um, whatever situation I'm in, I will always find my way. Eventually, I will find it. It might take me longer than usual. It might take me more than what I, longer than what I expected. But I feel like um, eventually, I will always find a way because I'm, I, I don't like giving up on things that I really want. In 2020, I learned that about myself. And another thing is that in 2020, um, I got a taste of my potentials and what I was capable of doing. Again, once I got the taste, it's just like, okay, I could do this, I could do that. Bet. Let me try this, let me try that, let me do more. And I feel like now, I don't know, it's crazy. It's going to get real crazy in 2021. We're just going to keep stepping in 2021. Remember, we're just getting started now. I do, we just had to let go of 2020 so we'll be able to move on to 2021. So yeah, right now, in 2021, we all gonna start stepping, you feel me? This is, a step of, this is the Steppers family. In 2021, we'll all start stepping, okay? Every single one of you guys, all right? And I know I'm recording this video a little late, a little bit late, um, because we're in February right now, but remember, for you to start stepping, you gotta let go of 2020. Uh, you gotta go back to 2020 and say, this is what I learned in 2020, this what happened, um, it's still time for you to make adjustments again. The month, the year just getting started. Okay, if you feel like you have to make some adjustment, you have to go back, then go ahead and do that. But just remember where there's a will, there's a way. Thank you guys for watching. If you watched the whole video, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, remember we're stepping all 2021. I just want you guys to know that. And I wish you guys a very uh, happy new year. Remember, the year is just getting started. We're going to keep stepping all 2021. I have a lot of investing video coming through. And also I have a lot of mental videos. Well, not a lot of mental videos, but I feel like a mindset video, a mindset things should be coming through as well. So I try to put it, um, those things out to you guys. And also, I'm, I'm trying out this new mic. So let me know what you guys think about it too. Um, now, um, one thing I want to know is, first of all, I want to, again, I want to say Happy New Year to everybody. Don't forget that the year didn't start in January. The year start whenever you start um, decide to make that change. But um, I want you guys to go in and comment down below what you learned about yourself in 2020. Um, what can you do to make the world a better place in 2021? And name something that you learned about the world, about yourself. Um, go ahead and comment all that stuff down here under the video, all right? Um, again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you, and we out.